just weeks away from Ohio's constitutional carry law going into effect. And we're checking in on Ohio's gun laws and how they have changed since the Oregon District mass shooting. News reporter Allison Gans joins us here in the studio with team coverage on what laws we have and what's next for Ohio, Allison. Ohio's law allowing anyone 21 and older to carry a gun concealed without a license goes into effect on June 13th. This bill is a complete opposite from the plan Governor DeWine proposed following the 2019 Oregon District mass shooting. In 2019, crowds chanted at Governor Mike DeWine to do something about guns after the tragic Oregon District mass shooting. That's when DeWine introduced a 17-point plan to reduce gun violence that included expanding background checks, early intervention, and increased penalties for people who shouldn't have guns. But three years later, former Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley says we couldn't be further away from that plan. Never in my worst nightmare did I think that when he said he was going to do something, that he would do something to make it worse, and that's exactly what he is done. Um, our communities are less safe. DeWine's strong Ohio bill expired without any action by state lawmakers last year. Instead, in January 2021, DeWine signed the Stand Your Ground bill into law, removing the requirement to retreat before using force in self-defense. And this year, DeWine signed the Constitutional Carry Bill into law, which starting June 13th makes it legal for all Ohioans 21 and over who are legally allowed to possess a handgun without a permit. Legislative Affairs Director Rob Sexton with the Buckeye Firearms Association says these were laws they were fighting for. The closer we can get Ohio it, uh, to living up to the words of the Constitution, which gives all Ohioans the right to keep and bear arms to protect themselves, uh, you know, the, the more we'll be pleased. DeWine declined to comment to two news. Instead, we were referred to this statement on the Texas school shooting posted on his social media, saying in part, quote, Fran and I will keep the victims and their families in our prayers, and we ask all Ohioans to do the same. DeWine's signature on the constitutional carry bill makes Ohio the 23rd state in the country to no longer require permits. In the studio, Allison Gans, 2 News, working for you.